Right, so in this video I'm going to clock the rings and I'm going to talk a little bit about the rings for this bike. Now, I know there's probably loads of stuff out there about rings and how to clock them. So this is a bit more specific to those Honda Twins. So right, look, I um, I got the rings, they finally arrived. It took about three months I think for these rings to arrive, so they must have specially made them for me. So I'm very grateful to Honda. Um, so I'll go into these in a minute. Uh, just around the clocking, just to kind of... So the manuals, all three manuals say the same thing, they say 120 degrees. So you've got your intake side, that's the little in, and you can see there's two grooves there for the two uh, valves. And the exhaust, obviously, that's your exhaust valves. Um, and I know before anybody starts shouting at me that these rings will move around once you install them, that is true, they will move around. Um, but look, let's just do it the way that the manual says to do it. Um, so right, so you've got the exhaust side and you've got the intake side. Um, I already drew this out just so it's easier. Um, and like I said, it's um, it's 120 degrees. So each ring is to be 120 degrees out and you've got three rings. So you've got the compression ring, which is your top ring. Um, you've got the second compression ring, which is a, a compression ring slash oil scraper ring. And then you've got your actual oil ring, which is scrapes the oil and, and lets it go down through those little holes in the bottom. Um, so they're the three rings so yeah so clocking these rings so before I go to install them these are the original rings that are on it as you can see um, so the gaps so the first gap and um, so if you look at the exhaust side you don't want the gap to be on the thrust side of the of the piston so you don't want the gap to be here you don't want the gap to be here you don't want the gap to be on this side of the pin or that side of the pin so that kind of leaves this area, this area, that area, and that area. And you see some, some people say the four corners. It actually is somewhat the four corners. Because if you look at it, there is there is one gap that I've, I've drawn out. There's another gap. And then this is for your oil ring. So it says 20, 20 mil from, from the center line here. So 20 mil this way. That's one of the oil ring. Um, should have probably explained it. The oil ring has three parts to it. Um, so it's got two rings and this kind of um, mesh. So that's why you've got two positions for the oil ring. So you've got one here, which is 20 mil out from the center line, which is not exactly at the pin. It's just at the edge of the pin. And if you look at the manual, that's exactly what they show you. So the pin is here, so there, and you go 20 mil out that way and 20 mil out that way. And it means you, you bypass this section here. So you don't want your gap to be in that section. Right. So that's your oil ring. Um, yeah. So look, let me, um, let me fit these. Twist them around. And I'll show you what way they go around. All that in a minute. Um, so the rings. Um, so I've got a new set of rings here. And you can actually tell the difference between the, the first ring and the second ring. Um, there is a difference. Now... The best way I can describe it is, this one is very blocky. The edges are very sharp. Um, so this is quite, um, uh, they're quite different. Um, where this one here, the edges are, are are a little bit smoother. Now they're not, they're not smooth, but they are a lot smoother. So when you actually put this one in your hand, you can feel that the edges are very sharp. Um, it's very hard to tell where it's up or where it's down on this ring. Um, because you can see all the markings have actually gone off it. Um, so I will show you the new ring. Now the new ring has a marking. It has ore. That's your top ring, this one here. Um, and like, he's, like I said, it has a, a smoother smoother surface, um, smoother edge to the, the second ring. So that's your first ring. Um, so I'll put that on now in a minute. Your second ring, the marking is RN, and the marking is facing up. So that's the second ring. And as you can see, the, the first one, just want to compare them side by side. So there's the new one. As you can see, there's a, there's a coating on this, kind of a dark black coating. Um, so there's a bit of a difference again. So that's the second ring, like that. So or top ring or N, the second ring. 
Here's the um, the oil ring has three parts to it. There is a, a mesh, and there's two two rings. That's why I said about the gaps; they're twenty mil off. Um, they also have a little coating on it. They don't have an orientation; these rings, so you don't have to worry about them. Um, but it's just those the two top ones. So look, let me um, let me put them on and get going. I'll just put these away. They're the old rings. So if you're ever fitting them and you're taking them off, just put a little, get a little marker and mark uh, where the top of the ring is. It's very difficult to tell the top to the to the bottom of the ring on these. Um, so they do have an orientation. So just be be wary of that if you take them off and put them back on again. But we're using new ones, so that's not an issue here. Okay. So let's fit fit the other ring first. It does have an orientation. The manual says to put it up this way. Um, the solid, the, the gap is on, the two gaps meet at the bottom. So the oil ring goes on first. And it has to be able to move freely inside. Next, I put the first one of these. That's again the oil ring. goes on top there's no special tool for this so there we go that's the first one with the bottom one Next is the compression ring. Now, I've waited months for these, so I'm not going to take many chances. I should say any chances. Ring number two. And the last one. That's it. And like, like you see, I've marked it up here. So our first gap, it's the top ring, compression ring, is up here. Now, they will move. I know that. There's number two is just here, as you see it there. There's number two. Um, and then just at the bottom one, they're 20 mil out. Let me just rotate them. that way and then the other one is just there anyway you get the point I'll adjust this now in a second but you get the point okay so lastly I did I kind of I skipped it out very step I did put these um these rings into the cylinder and I did measure them with a, a feeler gauge 
and they are with intolerances. Um, the other thing I will do is I will replace this um, the uh, what you call it the clip for the for the for the pin. Um, I'm just not not reusing old pins, so I'm going to replace that. Um, I, I'm going to put one in on the bench here and one in. That means I I only have to do one over the bike. Um, and what else? Uh, yeah, that's it. So look, they're set up. That's that's 120 degree out. That's that's what they mean when they say 120 degrees.